What's up, everybody? It's Jed Johnson here from DieselCrew.com. Of course, you know they call me Napalm. Following up on a video I did, uh, I think it was like last week or earlier this week. I don't know. Uh, Travis Mitchell left a comment, and I was talking about my crushing strength. He wants to know if there's something wrong with my hand, why when I have close, tried to close heavy grippers in the past, I get them down to a quarter of an inch. Like, I can't go any deeper than that. That's not that's not the case. What I meant was, I got in such a habit of working with really heavy grippers that I would squeeze them and I would die at about the quarter inch mark. And I did that so much that I was missing, like, all grippers right in that range. So, I wouldn't miss, like, a... A 160 in that there but i would i would miss like just uh like a few cards right so it just became a a problem it was kind of like lockout strength if your lockout is bad on the bench press and then you're always missing the last couple inches it's because you haven't developed your strength in a way that you can you have you have strength to get the whole way through that movement pattern so that's what I did because my program was basically get loose, get warm, and then try to close the big heavy gripper as far as I can and miss and miss and miss. So what I had to do is I had to get, get myself out of that pattern. So I changed the way that I trained and I focused more on the end range of the motion. This is the exact premise of cadence-based training, which is the best gripper training program on the internet, bar none. Um, I've been terrible at collecting testimonials over the years, but I've gotten tons of them from people that are happy with the program, and when they go through the eight-week program that's in this ebook, they see results, especially if they have access to a diverse collection of grippers that are incremental. Like, if you just have a, a one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, those gaps are so huge, guys, that um, it's it's really hard to make advances. You need in-between grippers. I mean, that's plain and simple. That's, that's the best way to work your way up is, like, if you're going to climb a ladder up to the roof of your house, do you want to have, like, one rung here, and then the next rung is like three feet from the roof of your house. No, you want to have rungs in between. So if you have a nice setup of grippers like that, then you'll be in better shape. Then if you pair those grippers up with cadence-based training, the way that I have the program set up, you're going to make huge gains in your grippers. It's just going to happen. Um, so no, I, uh, I don't have anything wrong with my hand. These days... I just, the only problem that I have is being able to recover from gripper training. So I just don't like to do it because it affects everything else that I do. And I'm, I'm done with grippers, man. I'm just sick of them. I'm really sick of them. I am so glad they don't come up in contests anymore so I don't have to train them. It's not funny. Silver Bullet's different. To me, that's like, that's like picking something up off the ground. That's like lifting stuff because you don't have to worry about um, closing the gripper all the way down and you don't have to worry about that dynamic nature of the of the handles and the squeezing over a distance and the eccentrics that are going on. So therefore, you're able to recover quicker when, when you're just doing silver bullet. <clears throat> but no, nothing wrong with my hand. So hope that hope that clarifies. Hope it's nice and clear. And if there's any other further questions, let me know. And all the best in your training, everybody. Be sure to subscribe. Give it one of these. Any other comments that you have or questions, leave them in the comment section below. See ya.